Have you ever tried roasted dried squid or this dried um, seafood? Well, here in Asia, there are many snacks that are fish. Well, today we're gonna see if these are amazing or disgusting or whatever this is right here. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. I say we start with the roasted dried squid. Here we've got this little squid icon. There's a lot of protein. Looks like leather. Let's ha let's have a taste, shall we? That smells really strong. It smells just like the ocean. I take pride in the fact that I'm willing to try all foods. So here we go. That's delicious. It's like fish jerky. It's definitely chewy. This is awesome. I don't think it's good for you, however. There's a lot of a lot of preservatives. We're off to a strong start. Four out of five, five out of five J-Man points. Right off the bat, excellent job. Let's see if this next one can beat it. Here I have roasted seasoned file fish. What is file fish? This company is called Food For You. I'd sure hope so. Why would it be food for someone else? But um, right, let's see if file fish is actually good because I'm quite curious. Oh, that smells really fishy. Here's what we're looking at. Is that bones? Okay, well, at least I can tell it's a fish and not some weird unidentified animal. Let's just try it. Oh, it smells so strong. It's sweet. Definitely tastes like barbecue. Not my favorite flavor in the world. Kind of, um, it's a little nutty and it made a mess. Now everything is gonna smell like fish. <laughs> yeah, this one gets like two out of five J-Man points, but we still have a bunch of these snacks to try. Something's gotta be good, right? Moving on, here we have roasted dried squid from Hainam Company. Look, look how happy the squid is. He's so delighted that I'm going to maul him with my teeth. Is this spicy? Oh, fresh to your plate. Oh, I'm so happy. Please eat me. So let's open it up. Oh, that's fishy if I ever smelled fishy, bro. Here, they put the freaking chili sauce in it. We gotta do it the right way. This smells so unbelievably fishy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and we still have this to try. If this isn't fishy, I don't know what is. Let's open her up. So we got some chili sauce here. Let's just put a good amount right there. Luckily, I'm, I grew up in Asia, so I'm pretty comfortable with most foods. However, I have my limits. <sighs> That's, um, it smells like plastic, okay? In the chili sauce. It's really, really chewy. This chili sauce and this squid is bussing. Then there's this really pungent squid flavor that comes through. The combo is insane. This carried the whole thing. Shout out to the chili sauce. Tasty and delicious. This is definitely a three out of five, maybe even four J-Man points. There's a lot of chemicals in these products in order to preserve them for so long. Preservatives. However, this one, this one gives me a bit of hope. Here we have stewed soury with tomato. Sorry with tomato sauce. Stewed sorry with tomato made in Japan. Teriyaki fish, Japanese traditional flavor. Japanese people call it tsukura ni. Can eat it as it is for appetizers, pizza topping, or ingredients of salad. Japanese deliciousness will go out into the world. It's vacuum sealed, it's full of sauce. So it's gonna be flavorful, right? Oh, that's teriyaki, all right. It's got tomatoes all over it, but it's telling me about teriyaki. Is teriyaki made from tomatoes? So this is what we're dealing with. Does it look appetizing? Not necessarily. Don't judge a book by its looks. Okay, I just gotta go for it. It's really sweet. However, it's like if you ever eat sardines out of a can, which by the way, are like my favorite snack ever. I don't know what fish this is, soury. I wouldn't especially snack on this, but if I were, let's say, trapped inside of a grocery store for like, I don't know, 30 days because of a zombie apocalypse, deadly virus taking over the population, I'd be okay, I would survive. So this one's getting a three out of five J-Man points. I'll eat a little bit, I'll eat a little bit more. Let's just... Here we have, fresh to your plate, dried salted yellow stripe trevally roasted high quality. Ingredients are yellow stripe trevally, whatever that means, 95%, salt and sugar, 5%. This is generally okay for you. Now, I don't think I've had yellow stripe. I am wearing one though. <laughs> Stream my song yellow tape on all platforms. Man, that is fishy, fishy wishy, bro. Let's have a little close up look. How are we doing? This is like I'm promoting a car. Here's some nice slow mo shots, some nice music. They literally cut the fish in half and put it in the baggage. <sighs> Okay, this one's kind of hard, guys. So the fish is boneless, or, or maybe there are bones. I'm crunching on his bones right now. I think this was up there, four out of five. None of these have been like absolutely horrendous. These fish guys know what they're doing. Next up, I'm very excited to try this one. 
A buri salmon trout with bones made in Japan can eat with bones. Bones were pressurized, cooked, and tender enough to eat black pepper, teriyaki fish, technique that adds new deliciousness to ingredients by searing surface of fishes. They, this company is hyping up their fish so much, it's about to shoot a three-pointer. It's like their fish is Michael Jordan about to go swish. I'd like to make a wishy wish wish to eat some yummy fishy fish fish. Uh, hella bones, hella fish. And we can eat it with a fork, yeah, we don't give a sh Ew, what is that piece right there? I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna avoid that part. And I'm gonna go for this part. This is all bones, bro. Whatever, let's just eat it. Oh my God, that's just pepper and slime. That gave me the heebie-jeebies and it's spicy because of all that pepper. Here we have dried seasoned Gobi. This guy's name is Gobi. He looks happy. Let's see if Gobi tastes all right. Listen, before I demolish Gobi, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Gobi would want that. Gobi was a fat fish. Yeah. Smells like squid. Here we have Gobi. Mm, that's so interesting. It's like I bit into a, my cat Simon. It's just all these hairs in my mouth. Not a fan of the texture. Also tastes a bit like plastic. I don't know if that's a characteristic that Gobi has. I didn't know him before his death. And I don't know if this is many Gobies or one Gobi, but Gobi ain't for me. The whole house smells like fish right now because all I have out here is fish. Who thought of this idea? I did. Let's move on, shall we? Sardines. I love sardines. So this shouldn't be so bad. Since 1922, this company's been making stuff. New bite, tender and moist style jerky. Prickly ash? Is this gonna prickle my mouth? What do you mean by that? Oh boy. This is uh, well, I'm trying new things today, but here's what it looks like. I hope all this is safe to eat, but there it is. It's, let's give it a try. Karaoke, very dry, sweet and salty. Really dry, like Popeye's biscuit dry. Oh, I didn't give this one. Gobi gets one out of five J-Man points. The salmon gets zero out of five J-Man points. This one I'll give two. Growing up, I've been to a lot of places in Asia. This right here is one of my favorite snacks of all time. I call it fish gum. It's full of preservatives and stuff. However, it's freaking delicious. So it comes in these little strips like this, and it's just like dried fish, and you just eat it, and it's the best thing ever. This brings back so many memories. It's spicy, but that one gets some five out of five J-Man points. I love fish gum. Fish gum. That's what I said. That is what I said. The final frontier. No MSG. This is the first product without MSG. Monosodium glutamate. It is a flavor enhancer and it is bad for you. It's teriyaki fish. Goes well with rice, soups. However, I'm eating it straight out of the bag today. Let's just jump right in and pray. Oh, it really doesn't look appetizing at all. Does this look like something you want to put in your body? I don't know. But here at J-Man Curly Incorporated, we eat things, whether we like it or not. There's straight bubbles all over the fish. Whatever, let's just jump in, man. Jump into the fishiness. Here we go. Dry and really sweet. So I think in the end, man, the squid wins and the fish gum wins. I've had enough fish today for the next year. Let me know if you want me to try more weird snacks. I can't wait. Bye.